Can I remove this? I should be able to. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, we are we are live, and we're playing the Final Fantasy 16 demo today for the masses. I haven't been here in a while. Um, I've been focusing on content and videos. You know how it goes. I'm being grinding, boy. Trying to find a new schedule because now it's like I upload two videos a week maximum but i can do live streams whenever which is nice it's nice uh so we're gonna prioritize frame rate and we're gonna keep it in english and we'll see if this game impresses us let's see we got visual alerts enable on-screen waveform that provides visual representation of in-game sounds and music no we'll leave that default story focused action focus wait there's options for gameplay focus so story focus begin the game equipped with several accessories that amplify gameplay recommended for those players who are less comfortable with action games and wish to focus on the game story elements which is basically i guess easy mode or people who don't want to really focus on hack and slash begin the game with standard equipment recommended for those players who are comfortable with action games. You know I am comfortable with action games, so I'm going to pick that. And we will continue onward. Let's see what is next. And then there's the final screen of settings. And let's get right into it. Uh, I know some people have been saying on Twitter that, well, one particular dumbass said, this is not a Final Fantasy game because it is not turn-based anymore. Which is an asinine opinion because... Final Fantasy Remake got that same sort of critique, and it was a fun experience. So, if this game also delivers on the high-velocity RPG gameplay, which is cool because the people who worked on this game was not only the Final Fantasy team, but people from Kingdom Hearts and Platinum Games, and one of the Devil May Cry directors, it might be lit. I'm willing to jump into it as a fan of the series for a long time. But we have two big ass creatures going right at it. But I I'm pretty excited, man. I'm pretty excited for this one. Oh, God. Good Lord have mercy. I am, yep, I knew I would have to press some button at some rate. Oh, Pokemon! There's a V button right there, I see that. He's getting closer to me. Woo! They basically assembled the Avengers. Yes, they did, because they beat... Black Bond's ass into tar. I'm like, oof. Yeah, I, I just... It's like people have said before, and what I'm saying, like, the gameplay for Final Fantasy has been ever-changing in mechanics and gameplay since Final Fantasy X. So, I don't... I, I guess people who say, oh, it just should be turn-based again are, like, ten years late to the party? Which I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. It's like, holy shit, man. It's like, it's all right. As long as they continue to deliver great games, no matter what the gameplay is, I will be there to play it. And I'm a person that likes turn-based and action RPG. But I never was opposed to Final Fantasy having action combat in the first place. I, I always found it interesting since Remake. So I'm like, you know, it's 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 always options out there for us action enthusiasts or turn-based fans or people who like Japanese or Western RPGs. I I think role-playing game fans are actually eating very, very well. Lots of content coming out, whether it's Final Fantasy, you got 16, you got Rebirth. 
if you're a Persona guy, they announced the Persona 3 remake, and then they also have Yakuza coming out because that series has turn based and spin off beat em up formulas to it. And then you also have the Western RPGs coming up, you know, your Witcher remakes and everything like that, Cyberpunk, Phantom Liberty. It's a lot to eat as an RPG fan. I, I just can't see someone trying to be a purist in this time when you have so much of the genre to in hell and take in nothing much is happening outside of a couple of guys in armor and he is quelling the flames all right i did play the demo <laughs> now this is not the first time i i actually recorded a final fantasy demo i think i did the same for uh 15 as well which was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie uh, I have the full game, but I never actually, like, went through it all. But maybe one of these days I will. I just remember the controversy of them canning all the DLCs and, and people got, like, real pissed at that. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I can't play my individual chapters. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission success. Oh, I am? Really? I better do like 5,000 combos just in case. All right, now we get to move around a little bit. Hello. This is a pretty vista though. If I will say so myself. All right. Use this to move Clive and then use this to move the camera. Let's see. The main menu, okay. Outside of a cutscene, we can use that. There's basic tutorial stuff. Let's see. The main menu, the system, okay. That's pretty basic from what I see. I almost thought they were open me up to like telling me, oh, this is where you gotta do a bunch of magic and mix and match, but no, it's pretty simple. I can't run though. Let me run! Let me run! Okay, there we I can jump. That's awesome. Okay. I think it's almost time for combat. Look at Clive, though. This man looks like a complete badass. Oh, shit. We got, like, the Avengers fighting down here. For the Republic. Ah! My small intestine. My ball sack. This is a flat out war. Oh my god. Chocobos. We're raining high. Oh, we got tackled off and killed. Damn. Yo, I love the fact that there's like all blood and gore and guts. This is M rated, so they're definitely taking it to that level. I like that. I also saw people complaining about that. I'm like, it's an M-rated game. We had M-rated Final Fantasies before, like Type Zero. It's not the first time we've seen some blood. Hell, even in um, even in the rated T games, we saw blood. Like when Zack got shot the fuck up. It was like boom, 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 shot them all up. There's blood everywhere, man. Crisis Core. That was not a pretty sight. Can I jump in that, please? Well, let me assert my dominance. Oh shit, we gotta get to the stronghold. So, never mind on that. What do you mean you refuse? Did you not select your sword for our cause? No, oh, hello. Come now. Marshal, the king of Walud is our guest. Mm -hmm. He looks like a more depressed Clive. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> and you have His Majesty's answer. Oh, I'm too old for this shit. Oh, hello.
I like how they get high or drunk just by pressing on magical items. That's kind of what I would do in this world, like, fuck it. Here's a mound of weed, just light that up with some materia, and there we go. It's probably not materia in this timeline, though. Yo, I saw people fucking in this demo. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. I'm about to get my freak on in this world. <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. I'm the biggest one at the table. Look at me. Good God, look how tall that guy is. Holy shit. He can call me Roman Reigns Sr. The head of the table. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he can crush that guy with like one pelvic finger. I don't know why I said that, but you know what? Just leave it in. Just leave it in. One pelvic finger. This is funny. How tall is that? He's like nine feet tall. They just totally told this dude, look, you gotta sit down. Sit your five dollar ass down before I make change. Oh no. You cock. Well, she said you cock? <laughs> what the hell? Um, this is prime evil sex right now. Okay. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. Yeah, this is definitely a mature game. Huh? Lion. You're my lion. What the? I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. Okay, then. Right in the hallway where there's like several people walking past already, so I guess he doesn't mind. Well, there we had a little bit of a sex scene there. Definitely showing the mature tone already as we speak, very early. The front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Chaos! Chaos! Speaking of which, I have not played Strangers of Paradise. I have it, but I have not played it. I'm looking to get all the way back into Final Fantasy yet again, because, man, after losing my save data for Final Fantasy Remake, that was like 60 hours. I had to take a little bit of a break. <laughs> it's like, I was just like, oh, fuck, man. I'm, I'm done for now. It's so punishing when you lose... Hours of gameplay in an RPG. The same thing happened to me with Grandia 2. I'm like, I played this game for 20 hours and my computer fucked up. So I'm like, there goes my save yet again. I, I think losing save data for RPGs is the worst because I had my character all leveled up. <laughs> now I got to start over yet again. It's so bad when that happens. But it's alright. It's alright. So far, my PS5 has been working quite well. Oh, there is... Uh, talking about the PS5, and there's a giant-ass creature in front of me. What is that? That's a titan. How am I gonna kill that? I just throw my sword at him and maybe like stab him in the ass. That could be that could be something. I assume this is where the kaiju battles happen with the big giant summons like Ifrit. Look at this.
Oh, that looks so awesome. Oh, you guys are fucked. Yep. Ah. That's the whole fleet gone. That's a chocobo dead. <laughs> Jeez, that's like a full on war out here. Alright, it's time to turn you frosty. He's like, nope. Mm, let me get some of that. Let me punch you real quick, baby. You can make some icicles for me. I'll stomp it on the whole team. Salute to all the soldiers down there for like dying very harshly. Holy shit. You know Clive's not gonna die. Come on. Hmm. We ain't stupid. You don't get to die here, Wyvern. Move! Oh absolutely. After that fantastic dodge. Oh, I might need more than that because actual gameplay where I can wait. Oh, uh... How am I going to make it over there? Or do I just jump? That's a long jump, though. Yeah, I don't think I can jump over there. This way. Oh, fuck. She's right on top of us? Did I hear that right? Damn, I immediately mouth brain. This <laughs> Ah! Keep running! A lot of fucks there. Uh, too much fuck to handle. Oh my god! Oh. I'm moving my ass away from all this ice. It looks like I got an action prompt here. Jump! Come on! There we go. I like how crazy this large scale battle really is. And he is done. Look at this flat like a pancake. Oh my god. As soon as I saw that rock hit his partner, I'm like, he's just, mm, that's it. He's some street pizza right there. Street pizza. Ah, ah, ah. I told you before, you do not get to die here. Oh, uh, what about my teammate? He's pretty much dead. Oh, look at him. <laughs> just brother and he passes out he just got ethered so they say my progress will carry over to the main game i am playing as a younger clive great i already know what to expect here i think this is where they teach me how to do the sword mechanics Yep, this looks like a training ground. Well, if you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stable. I don't want to mess with no cows, man. I use their udders as weapons. I want to be a badass soldier. So interesting they chose a British cast for this one. Torgal! There he is.
All right, let's go. This guy looks way too flamboyant to be a soldier, so. Attack the Lord Commander. Four attacks can be chained together with basic melee from square. Okay. All right, that's the lock on button. Success. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. All right. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. channel your inner flame cast fire to strike down enemies from a great distance Excellent. simple magic okay i gotta do it like five times all right he's done oh one more Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Flatten? Alright, fight me then. My blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough. Fight me then, bitch! Fight me then! On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Stay quick on your feet. All right, evade four times. So simple evade prompts. Oh, to be so young and fleet of foot. That's pretty easy. But I need to get in some actual combat to see how that works. It seems like pressing dodge twice is more beneficial. Show me what you can do. By the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. All right, this guy wants to die. All right, put him right in the body bag. Come on, close the gap. Oh, I see. So it's like a like just homing in on him, right? Phoenix shift. Hmm. Pretty simple stuff. But even the most agile shields cannot hope to escape every blade. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. It's time to use potions. Where's my phoenix down? Come on. Mend your wounds. Consumables like potions and tunics can restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. It could be assigned. Oh, okay, I see. Let's see, so I see one potion and one high potion. Oh, I don't want to go towards them. Come on. There we go. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments. Where in life and death can listen to the sexy soul caliber music. <laughs> Battle one fight at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Or at the very least, I'm just fucking around. Sure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. Well, I've been waiting for you to say that. Come then, Lord Rossfield. 
Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called shield of the Then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Alright, let's kick his ass. How that me, boy. Make proof of your strength. Awful. Alright, come on. Use everything you got and defeat him. Oh, this combat feels great. Oh my god, what was that? Holy shit. Oh, we got takedowns? Oh, so, let's see. His will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Is that like a stamina bar going down? Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Hola. Como estas, lady Tolkien? This combat is sick. Oh no! Okay, you, you can jump dodge in air. That's exactly what I wanted. Don't roll away from me. Ooh. He's almost dead, believe me. Wow, this this feels really good. I'm not gonna lie. My first impressions are very positive so far on the combat. It's actually making me want to come. <laughs> Said that so casually, but it does. It makes me want to come. The holy come of Monte Cristo. <laughs> Wow, that was, uh, even though it was an easy tutorial, that was quite amazing, because he was doing, like, differing animations when he was getting hit. I like that. I, re I really like that. Okay, let me find something else. I'm very excited. Center mast, half mast, night mast. <laughs> it's like one or the other. He didn't even hit me, so how am I so tired? Oh, thank you for the free heal. They just use magic for everything in this fucking universe. I mean, like, magic for everything? I was just tired. This Phoenix's flames are a gift. I mustn't waste them. It is this to waste. My shields look up for me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. Oh, we have another sick child. We shouldn't be outdoors. It's fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned. That's so funny. He wasted like half his healing on me and he's sick. Oh boy. What's this? Grace, please. Uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself. To see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to this has to be the Queen. Or some higher up, high ranking. We should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, mother. Oh, it's all in family. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Well, my mother thinks I'm a bastard son. Lord Murdoch. It seems to be the look that he gave. A little some disgust there. They don't pay attention to me. I assume that's going to be one of the plot points in the story. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born a phoenix. Oh, typical um, Naruto plot. You should join them. I'm a cursed being because I was born with the phoenix. 
All right, let me kill something. I've been waiting this whole time. I've been trying to nut again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They got family drama and me wanting to release. By fighting a lot. What is this? Oh, black chocobo? Oh no. It kind of looked like one. It's a white chocobo. I guess that's the king. You, Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, yes, father. It's much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? Oh, there's the Torgal. I wonder, can you pet it? Make a fine He's feisty, too. He's feisty, Torgal. Wait, hold on, I might have been a little bit spooled. And I think you can use that dog in combat. Just a little bit, and if that's the case, I'm going to be using him a lot. Will be my boy. Yes, Rover. Bite that testicle off, please. I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait. We got animal summons? Of course. Puppers. And now we're gonna get giant fear all cats, much to Tolkien's appreciation. That's gonna be a day one buy if that happens. How'd they do with the doggy for now? <laughs> IPA. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hold him like a baby. Like, let me pet him. I want to pet him. Right now, come on. We'll skip the screen. Is trouble brewing? Give me him. I'm not sure. Damn you! Okay. There's animal instincts, which I guess that shows maybe objectives. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention because he's trying to pet the torgal. Let's see. I'm gonna talk to these random villagers, so it's not an RPG without that. Oh no. Oh, they have the same little markings on their face from the beginning. He's the prince. Get on your knees. Come on. Worship me. There you go. It was no trouble. Really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why? Neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. It's funny they said old cock earlier. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, the dialogue in this game sometimes though is just pretty funny. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. I noticed the cutscenes in this game were definitely longer than it was in Final Fantasy Remake. Definitely a little bit longer. Come on now. Back to your duties. 
So it feels like this game is just a smidge more cinematic in areas. Okay, lowly vagrant. Oh, yeah, that bow to me again. Bundle of apples. Fucking apple juice. Oh, the Torgal's tired. I still can't pet them, so I, I rate this game like a 6 out of 10. No, I'm kidding. Let's see, where else do we go now? What the hell is that? Can't touch it, whatever it is. I have to make way to the throne room, which is this way. Move, bitch! Get out the way! Alright, there we go. This is a sexy fucking garden out here. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I can't go in the bushes, though. Let me have my fun. What is that? Right there. Someone using powers on a tree. It's like using Crisco. I use Crisco for everything down here. Oh, so I have to... Okay. Push and pull all your might. So does that mean... Wait, try again? I gotta hold down the button to open the door. Good luck. Oh. I swear, if this companion dies in this game, I'm gonna kill someone. They already made it too cute. Cause in every game they pull that, like, you get close to an animal companion, and then they take it away from you. Each and every single time they do this. You commanded my presence, so Grace. <laughs> it's like they killed my horse and read that redemption. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just put one in my horse's head and it wasn't me. Well, I usually just shoot the horse in the back of the head by accident. <laughs> but it was a cutscene, so I was like, mandatory. Oh, I hate it. Send them south to Port Isolde. More would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Yes, against the Iron Kingdom. Also, someone was complaining about the face mesh being mostly the same from like Final Fantasy Remake for 7 and uh, 15. Which explains why Noctis and Cloud look similar, but in this one it's like kind of different. A little bit of a different art style, which I appreciate. Oh yeah, they killed my horse too in Ghost of Tsushima. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Every game does it. And even, well, I, I think it was a fake out in Shadow of the Colossus where Aggro was supposedly dead and he lived. He had only a little bit of a limp, which... Kind of glad he didn't die, but you know, so many games now just kill your companion animal. You will have heard the reports, I'm sure, of beastmen from the north who sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind marshes. And it, it, I guess it kind of pisses me off a little bit too if it's one that you bought and it's like super expensive, and then I'm like the cutscene just fucking kills it. <laughs> See Metal Gear, we we won't be having those problems. D Dog just goes up in there and like, it's like this white girl here. I'm about to text that ass. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I will do my duty. <laughs> oh man, I miss Metal Gear Solid Five so much. It was like one of my favorite stealth games. 
that I played. And I, I got like 200 hours in that game, too. Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. All right, but enough Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Active Time Lore. A feature, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. Oh, so they got a storyline button. It shows his dad. And this is quite helpful, actually, to people who might not be able to follow what's going on. So I kind of like that. Tells you about his dad, the order they have, let's see, the castle, what the mother crystals are. I, I kind of like that mechanic a lot, so it keeps people up to date with the plot. Because obviously, you know, when you're, when you're making like a JRPG, you're cramming a lot of story in there. And it could be, it could be daunting at times, for sure. I have to retire to my chambers upstairs because I can't get through the other sides real quick. Hopefully I'm not going in the wrong direction. I think I have to go the long way. Yep. And Harry Potter, your chamber. Is here. I just had to make that reference. God damn it. <gasps> Potter? Potter stinks. Oh, God. It's nighttime, so. Oh, the old man is in here drinking by himself. I think Clive's dad is gonna die, watch, because he wasn't, he wasn't around in the... And the little prologue before that, so I think he's going to be assassinated. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua. Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. He might be weak, but I'm taking him anyway. Form the right as Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary. So yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, he's already a fine soldier. Slay the splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. Oh, his mom is an asshole. My dear. You know, I knew it was something when he like turned away, so that might explain their relationship. sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time i am merely warming the seat till joshua comes of age you are your father's firstborn son and you sit upon the throne all of them are bright right unlike some you have not disgraced our noble blood Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. What the? I I almost thought that was gonna be another sex scene. <laughs> it's like, wait, why is she doing the handlebar thing to him? What the hell? At least she's honest. That's a virtue. That's true. Because you never know. There's this phoenix inside of him. What could go wrong with Clive? Time to prove yourself. Then you'll be fighting someone with, like, superhuman abilities. I'm a little old for that. Dude, what the fuck? Right. 
I hate it. Hmm. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. She takes she takes too many risks. She I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. I hate when people can't read. <laughs> it's an unrelated issue, but oh my god. Every time this happens. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? There we go. Do, do, do. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. I'm guessing this is his girlfriend. My lady, my lord. Good night, Clive. I'm just saying, all, all these people I didn't see in the prologue when he was older, I'm just assuming AKA dead. <laughs> That's the first, the first thing I, I see and think. Oh man. All right, we back outside. It is morning time. Uh, white choco today. Ambrosia. I gave it a name. Hold on, am I playing the whole first two hours? That's crazy, because it's been like an hour now for a demo. That's kind of long. Oh, shit, man. But, you know, we, we can't have demos anymore because people, you know, what I like to call these uh, PC terrorists. I'm kidding. But uh, these PC people that like to hack the game and put out the full story and leak and try to get that sort of clout. That sweet, juicy, sexy, sugary clout. Um... That's kind of why demos aren't really on PC half the time anymore. And because of that, it's like, well, you know, people don't want to put in that effort if it's going to get cracked. So, damn it, man. Now, this is good. Like, I mean, Final Fantasy, like I said, once again, I think the... I fucking forget. I, I swear 7 Remake also had a demo. I was there for that, too. Am I getting Liza P? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, because uh, it's it's too many games coming out in October to really dilly dally. So I have to, I definitely have to get Spider Man two. I definitely have to get Alan Wake two. That game's gonna be twenty hours long, two campaigns. Holy fucking dread. So I have to get the games of my relative interest first, 
And then I have to save up for my vacation at the end of the year, so I'm gonna be just broke. <laughs> I'm gonna be flat out broke after everything. But hey, that's that's how gaming is. And then early 2024. Final Fantasy Rebirth is coming, baby. To this, we ready for this. I I, I can't wait for that game. Um it's gonna be massive too. Well now I can move through maps. You think they'll remake all of Silent Hills? You mean the Kojima project? Uh, I don't know, cause you see the problem with that is like they kind of gotta get the head creator back to work on that, considering that I mean, for all intents and purposes, PT and Silent Hills was Kojima's DNA. So, but I, I will say this. Konami is trying to get their act together. It's not the same Konami as 2016. This is a completely restructured company who got rid of all the old CEOs. So, like, most of those people have been mitigated to lesser roles are gone. The people who hated Kojima. And I think this is the perfect opportunity for them to make amends with him now i'm not saying that he's gonna go back to the company because well you know he sort of started his own company in the midst of konami fucking him over so i don't think kojima is gonna come back but it's it's an opportunity to like bury the hatchet right that'd be goodwill if they decided hey we're gonna pay this man to make a game for us when we get back on track and that'd be goodwill i think Fans would actually eat that up if Kojima did, like, a game for Konami and it was outsourced to Kojima Productions. It'd be just like old times, but it remains to be seen if they're going to go all the way with that. But that'd be a good thing to do. So to show, hey, all this bad blood that's really gone is not really here in the first place. So maybe it could happen. Maybe one day. We'll see. But right now, they're focusing on Silent Hill 2 Remake with Bloober and Silent Hill F and all the other projects they announced so far. Uh, but they did say that it's more Silent Hill games on the horizon. We're not going to say what they are, but I think they're going to remake one. Strong feeling on that. Said it here first. I think they're going to remake the first game as well. Just depends on who is making it, of course. It's just like searching in the woods real quick. What? Oh. And got your little actions to go through. Crouch through trees and stuff like that. I do prefer that you don't have to press X to do it. Just walk up to it and it initiates. I see creatures over there. Do I collect video games, like, physically? Sometimes. Cause, but the last physical... I'm, I'm more of a digital guy, because the last thing I bought was Neo 2. And I do have some retro games, like... A lot of the PS2 library, and PS1, and PS3. I kept those for a reason because well <laughs> Sony and their bullshit with backwards compatibility yeah. fighting these trolls real quick oh man maybe uh, maybe I might try the demo for Liza P let's see people already know I'm kind of not into the souls kick anymore but who knows maybe I can have some convincing or maybe if they make Bloodborne on PC is that'll make me a little bit, you know, it's a slight exception to the rule because I love Bloodborne to be honest. That was that was good. That that was actually good. Uh, do you like Neo 1 and 2? Yes, I do actually. Uh, I've never played them for the channel in terms of like at least a live commentary. But I did do a no commentary run of fighting the bosses in Neo 1. 
so it's not live, but it's like a no commentary. But I, I rarely do no commentary anymore, so I kind of forgot just a slight second. I'm trying to find out where the hell do I go, because this area is kind of vast here. Uh, but I'm kind of glad I saved my PS2 games because the older Silent Hills are expensive now. I'm talking like $200, $100. So I have a rare opportunity to say I have a collector's item <laughs> because trying to get that physically is pain in the ass. Is this game hella tough? So far, not really. Uh, it's very simple, but fun. I the, the combat is fun, I'm not gonna lie, because you do several different animations where you dodge and weave through enemies. I haven't fought anything hard yet. I'm still kind of sort of starting out. Got a strength tunic, apparently. So I'll wait till I get to the boss. And you know it's gonna be every demo at the end is always a boss. See, but you got your basic attacks. And you can do magic. Oh, you can gain loot? Okay, of course. So they're giving me gill. Follow up, lock on. So far these are basic trolls though. Ow. He hit he actually hit me. So when you're surrounded, I just stabbed him in the dick. You can do mortal blows. Okay. Oh, oh, you can just kick the hell out. That's so that's one thing that I like actually is how they coordinate the combat and animations. You can just like kick the holy hell out of them. <laughs> if you finish them off, it's fun. All right, time to open this. We have more potions here. Uh, okay, so it's automatically stored from what I see. So there's, okay, one interesting thing is there's not really a lot of sub menu tinkering in this game. It just is all displayed on screen. So this game is very accessible. Compared to other Final Fantasies where it's like, here's the menu. We got to mix and match this and that, which I'm sure is going to probably be in a final game. Have you ever played Kuon, Rule of Rose, or Haunting Ground? I've played Kuon and I've played Haunting Ground. I've never played Rule of Rose. But Haunting Ground, I liked. That's the game with Fiona and the dog. And you have to sort of... It's, it's like... Clock Tower is it's essentially Clock Tower, uh, where you're running around, and and you're trying to hide from the bosses and everything, trying to hunt you down. And you can like kick them or get the dog to like attack them, which is pretty interesting. They have this sort of trust system in there. Uh, one game that Capcom should definitely port, because it was an interesting game. And then I play Kuon, where it's like, uh, hey, From Software is actually doing something really different with this horror game. It's like, it takes place in this dojo, running around, hitting people with daggers. It it was cool. It was kind of cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. Ow. The thing I hate is when they hit me in the back. Oh shit, I could have dodged out of the way of that. Damn it. This guy using his magic. Oh, that was. Yeah, that attack was pretty fast. Okay, so they're they're getting a few hits in on me. It's not. You definitely have to pay attention, that's one thing. Let's break this. So I think the combat is going to get like really hectic when differing enemy types start to swarm in. You really got to know your shit. I've never played Remothered. 
I've I I think I've I think I've seen the first one, but I've never played it. Time to push or kick. I'm gonna just do that. We should be nearing the old village square. It might not be a nest of goblins. Oh, he says that, and then we enter a battle arena. I suspect a boss. A boss in the building, dancing around, being a bitch. Oh. Well, he is right about it being a nest of trolls. Keyboard warriors, let's go. Let's kill him. Oh boy. But we'll have to take care of his followers first. Care to thin the herd. As if Here we go. Oh god, the music slaps. Come on. Alright, these trolls are dead. And then there is one. Or maybe not. I fucking knew it. On your feet, Sir Wade. Here it comes. Oh, that's a big boy. Use the blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their wheels. Whoa! That's a huge motherfucker. He's very slow, that was a great thing about it. Oh. Just trying to keep my distance, because he has a giant hammer! There we go. Staggered by doing that. Oh, hello. So the Phoenix is like a stagger attack. If you do a precise dodge, he'll do a follow up. Interesting. Yes, punish him. Hitting them while they're down. He's gonna get up soon, come on! Shit. Not so bad with this guy. Ah! 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 Started doing that- OH! <laughs> Just my teammates are getting shattered over there. Got him again. He's almost dead. Oh! He's almost dead, fellas. We almost got this one in the bag. Oh, he's doing his move again. Nice try. Nice try. Oh, that hit me. So that dodge is really precise. As the name implies. But 
just shooting fire fireballs at his balls. It's <laughs> and he's dead. Gigas slain. Yeah, Kulan is very expensive, but luckily for the power of Yar Har Haring emulation, I don't have that problem. This is exactly the reason why I built a PC. I got hard leather armlets. Let's see, can I equip those real quick? Oh, Gigas is dead. Uh, where's your leader? I want to kill him too. You better run, you coward! Fight, you coward. He said it! <laughs> we both had the same idea. Let's get him! Okay, we do have a gear system. There we go. There's our Clive right now. A gear and elk lawns. Oh, I see that. Let's see. I got this build on real quick. Let's see. What is this? Darkest of Arts. There is the armlets, and this is more accessories down here. Once equipped. Clive will automatically use a potion when his HP falls below a certain point. Let's see, what about this one? When equipped, complex ability combinations can be executed by simply pressing square. I'll put that one on. And when equipped, time slows before an available enemy attack strikes clive okay clive will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be avoided that sounds broken i'm putting that one on <laughs> automatically evade oh let me take a potion real quick let's see And you have to hold the button to take it, which I guess is there if someone is a dumbass like me and tries to take it by complete accident sometimes. Run, you coward. Of course. You had to jump over that? Come on. Come here, boy. How do you get into emulating games? I would say just get decent PC. Um, and uh, download some emulators like for PS1, Duck Station, and there's a PCX X2 or whatever the hell they call it. Let's look up PS2 emulator. GameCube with Dolphin, that is... I thought he got bigger for a second. What the... Oh, he's dead. Whoa, what the fuck is that? This is not, this is not good. Oh, God. Oh no, poison! I said stay away from its mouth. I got hit right with that. Ah. Whoa. Bad breath. I'm out. I am out of heat shift in terms of attack. Look out! 
sooner I stagger him, the better. About time. Keep hitting him. He's gonna get up. Yo, the music is bad, man. Oh, he's gonna try to come out the ground, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. There he is. Whoa! Come here, buddy. Cinematic strike. Hmm. Almost like a QT. All right. Also, the auto evade I think uses auto combos. Starting to notice that. Could be wrong, but it kind of feels like that. I'm still doing actions that I did not command. Yeah, he's doing all the Phoenix shifts by himself. So, do a little magic, boom. How do you download games for free on the emulator? Well... It's a little place called Taper Monkey and Emu Paradise that will help you right away with that. If not that, uh, <laughs> uh CD Romance is another site. <laughs> you didn't hear it from me though. Oh, again with the sucking! <laughs> again with the sucking! Another cinematic evasion. Oh! No, cinematic strike and cinematic evasion, so this is to get out of the way of damage. Ah! Now for the final push, my lord. What an idiot. Mm. This thing is still going! Oh no, that AI was in my way. Oh! Thank God I moved in time. I think we made it angry. I'd rather we made it die. Yeah, yeah I'd rather we made it die. Yeah. Ooh, look at all these combos going on right now. Oh no! He's a big boy. Uh, any minute now, he should be going down. There we go. He has like a little bit of health left. Seems the magic is infinite versus being linked to like an MP gauge. That's interesting, and there we go. The marble has been slain. You think physical media for games is gonna be a thing of the past? Uh, probably so. There's been some analysts that's been saying 2028 is going to be the end of consoles for physical media. Um, to me personally, though, I mean, I already am mostly all digital anyway. I just have the PS5 disc-based version for novelty, but all my games I mostly buy on digital anyway. Now, that's not to say that I won't be using it for physical media in the future. You know, we'll see. But, um, I don't know. It all depends on how bad the DRM gets. If it gets really, 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 really bad, uh, I, I just think that, oh, it's going to be so much calling out. It's going to be funny. 
should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. Set off. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. So far, this game is good. I don't... Very sleek. Very sexy combat. A lot of options. I the only thing I just kind of wish is that hopefully there's a hard mode in the future. It could be a little bit more challenging, just a little bit more. But I man, I love the dodging and everything. Oh my god, we're still playing this demo. It's only an hour in, fifteen minutes. This has got to be like they 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 just told us, hey, here's the first two hours of the game. Enjoy it. See what you think about it. And I'm like, oh, oh, be still my cold heart. <laughs> uh, random chocobo just eating off the ground. Hey, he's hungry. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. What games are you looking forward to from now until next year? Definitely Spider Man 2. Definitely, um, Alan Wake 2, Alone in the Dark Remake, what else, Mortal Kombat 1, let's see, it's probably more I'm missing too, I gotta be missing more, uh, for now, those are the top games I'm looking forward to, and, and Final Fantasy 16. I, I forgot. That comes out next week, though, so it won't be too long before I'm playing this, actually. But I'm probably forgetting stuff, so just keep that in mind. But so far, off the top of my head, those are the games I'm looking forward to currently this year. And it... I, I don't know. I, I seen a rumor, though, that they said Silent Hill 2 is going to come out in September. But it is just a rumor, so it might not even happen. If it does, I will be heavily looking forward to it. And that will be an early birthday gift as well. Is Alone in the Dark looking good a good game? Well, there is the prologue, which I haven't played, which came out uh, during that conference that they did for THQ Nordic. So there is that, where you play as Grace and you're just walking around. But so far, it's looking promising. Like, I, I, I think what's happening now is these other studios are seeing how popular Resident Evil 2 Remake was. Therefore, they're trying to sort of emulate that, and Alone in the Dark seems to be just that, which I heavily appreciate. I try not to say Tekken 8 or Metal Gear Delta because they don't have release dates yet, so they easily could slip into 2024, but in the future, if we're talking about, like, games probably for next year, definitely those two and... Uh, what is that other game? Oh yeah, Final Fantasy Rebirth. Rise of the Ronin. Hopefully Factions 2 comes out next year. I fucking doubt it from Naughty Dog. Uh uh I and everything else under the sun. I I'm, I I think next year is going to be a stronger showing for the future in conferences in general because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest like I mean, I'm looking forward to stuff like Fable, stuff like that, but it does have a release date, so I'm not super sure but i'm hoping that those games get closer and closer to completion they said triple a games are going to take like half a decade to make now which makes sense like these games are super expensive i'm not surprised a lot goes into them therefore them saying hey it might take like almost six or seven years to get a game out is not surprising to me in the slightest I'm just waiting for that fucking GTA 6 announcement, man. I need that. If that game was like... I don't know. Some prime ass, I would spank it. <laughs> I just need that game now. 
Oh, Wolverine. Okay, yeah, in the future, they're making that Wolverine PS5 exclusive. So I'm definitely going to be looking out for that. They started writing the script. And it is basically in pre-production. I'm looking forward to that from Insomniac. It's going to be hype. A lot of interesting games coming out in the future. <laughs> this kid hates vegetables like the rest of uh most of the kids I knew. Yep, Insomniacs, Wolverine, blood, gore, and violence. And I will be all for that, 100%. I can't wait. I hear you slew a morbid. All the men were singing your praises. Oh, the morgul was kind of easy, kid. Oh my god, I, I see streamers <laughs> looking at the sex scene from Final Fantasy 16 in the beginning. Uh, Alright, Tolkien, I'll see you later. In the Discord where we all hang out and have a good time and have a blast. So I will talk to you soon. But yeah, this game's looking pretty interesting for next year. I'm, 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 I'm happy that people are looking forward to it. Like I said, I don't know what was with the big debate of people saying it's not a Final Fantasy game. It definitely has a lot of action RPG elements, and I will classify it as such. As I said, my only gripe is I need a heart mode so I can test my skills with this game. Because I... I do feel like that ring where you could do automatic combos is ridiculous to have on and the fact that you could even choose that is going to be very easy for a lot of people. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to cut it off as soon as I get the gens. This kid's sick. Oh, what are you talking about? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. I'm about to retweet that. <laughs> the whole ass sex scene in the beginning. Oh my god. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. Oh, she is. She is. Fan in the sweat off, so that's even more funnier. I'm just gonna post that in the. This is spoiler, so I, I probably should. But it's a demo. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna ruin other people's experience, just like people are doing with the Flash. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I will flare the spoiler. Yeah. People are being assholes with that movie. And people are like, mm -hmm. I, I hate, I hate when people post spoilers un unsolicited. You know what I mean? To others looking forward to seeing something, and it's like, well, I've been spoiler to so many things before, and it didn't even matter. At certain points, because like, hey, you know what? You want to do this shit? I'm just gonna go support the thing I like anyway. And nine times out of ten, I just still end up enjoying it. I had, like, rare instances and moments where I played a game, I got spoiler to it, and I hated it. But most of the time, uh, playing some of these games, I got spoiler to. Or watching some of these movies, I got spoiler to. I mostly enjoyed them. I almost got spoiler to Avengers Endgame. Almost. It almost happened. Have I watched Flashpoint Paradox, uh, DC animated? Yes, I have. That is the movie where Flash tries to go back in time and save his mother. Oh! Oh! My God! This is crazy how violent this game is. Man! Well, as I was saying before, I was interrupted by a lot of throat slitting. <laughs> they are raiding the castle. That movie was great. Uh, that, that That's also the one where I think they had the 
no Barry, it was me for uh, Eobart the Wayne, which is Professor Zoom for that movie, so I do remember it vividly. They tried to flip the roles as well, so Superman is usually like all buff and shit. In this movie, they changed the timeline so he's like skinny and he doesn't know how to talk. It's like his brain is mush from being in captivity for so long because they never taught him to go to school or anything. So he's like kind of, he's like kind of a baby, <laughs> so to speak, but he still has like superpowers. So it's quite entertaining how they flip the roles. I think Wonder Woman was also sleeping with Aquaman's, well, sleeping with Aquaman in general. And then his wife found out and then she, Wonder Woman just cut off her fucking head. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, God damn. Holding up Mira's head on display. And then that started the Great Paradox War. I have a feeling this kid is going to die. Like, it always happens. This is going to be like Clive's catalyst to becoming a better soldier. Because his brother gets killed. Oh, this kid has a sword for her. Forgive me, my prince. It's me. Wait. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. Oh, God. Guts is attacking the castle. He's gonna kill another child again. No! <laughs> the first time here, you see a Berserk reference. I'm playing as this kid! Fuck! I'm gonna die, man. I already tell they're setting me up, too. I got this miniature jump. I'm like... Two feet, nothing. <laughs> this is really bad. Yeah, but the fact that I'm not playing as Clive is already a dead giveaway. This kid is toast. Oh, I heard screaming. Somebody's dead. Oh, you can use combat with this kid. Oh, I got Kiriaga. Whoa! Whoa, that was interesting. Okay, he has a giant charge up. But he gets like super tired when he does it. Have you played that game Madison yet? I have not. I only think it's in my list in terms of games. I have to check that out though whenever I get the chance. Let's open this up. Shall we? See another night. Dude, you're like super powerful, like... <laughs> Look at them getting fucked. Well, not anymore. No, they're not. They're... Figure it would be some betrayal, and then they get their whole base attacked. It's another knight in here too. He's just standing by himself like an idiot. Ooh, I should just let the AI do the work, cause like he did half the damage. Oh shit. This kid is so dead. 
<laughs> just see it coming from a mile away. So, Silent Hill is coming out with three games in the next year or so? Okay. But we don't know. Like, Konami's being very, very quiet. Uh... There's Clive. Hey, there he is. They're being very quiet. There has not been any updates whatsoever on anything outside of Silent Hill Ascension having a new trailer. That was it. It's been seven months. No Silent Hill 2 remake news whatsoever. Despite Bloober saying that the game is almost ready to completion... We did not get a new trailer update at all. Nothing for Silent Hill Townfall, I believe, just Ascension for now. It's quite irritating because it's like in the midst of Silent Hill having this big resurgence, we don't get any information for seven months outside of Ascension. And that's kind of disappointing, but if that rumor release date is true for september that would be cool it'll be the first silent hill game out this year for silent hill 2 remake and then i don't expect silent hill f to be out until possibly next year because i'm i'm, I'm fully confident that after re verse neo bars worked on they immediately start started work on that game so uh, I'm assuming that Silent Hill F is going to be 2024, maybe early 2024, and I'm assuming that Silent Hill 2 Remake either has to come out sometime in 2024 or a little bit later, or this year. This year would probably be ideal in my opinion, but currently we don't know. This September will be awesome, or maybe, I don't know, because a lot of games coming out in October. <laughs> So maybe it's like, oh, hold on, wait, it might be, I know that might be the ideal place to put like a horror game, but maybe it's not because you got Alan Wake 2 as competition and Spider-Man 2. So that'd be like a tag team fucking right there. I can see September being better for Silent Hill if it does come out this year, maybe December That'd be cool. Just stay away from the really crowded months. I, I, I just think September and if they put it in September, that's going to be a lot of games in October. It's going to be even more with Spider-Man. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't even touch October at this rate. Oh, now I'm playing with Clive. You're going to leave the kid behind. He's going to die. Yep. It's going to be the last time you see him. You think they'll ever remake Kuon or Rule of, Rule of Rose? I keep I keep getting a name like misconstrued. I don't know why. But the Rule of Rose. I, I, again, I never played that one, so I can't say. But for Kuon, uh, maybe, possibly... Uh, it depends on what FromSoft wants to do, but I, I don't know. I don't know. They, it would be cool if they went back to another horror game because I think uh, Souls games are being homogenized and <laughs> that just... Cool, they're doing Armor Core, though. But I, I don't know if they're... It's like, despite what I feel that genre is popular so they don't really have to make another survival horror game if they don't want to i hope they do because it'd be something different i'm trying to sort of go through my gear real quick that easy ring yeah the one that does complex executions i need that to be taken off or something. I don't. I don't want it on anymore. Oh shit! Yeah, I can't change gear while in combat. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Not a fan of it, but whatever. Can I take it off now? Just knock that dude down. Yep, still in combat. Damn it! All right. What about now? 
Yeah, because this is making the combat way too easy for me. I'll take that off too. So I guess, I mean, I guess these are the rings that are instantly equipped. If you pick, I just want to have a story experience. Oh yeah, the next armor core is coming out. That just showed gameplay today. So if you want to take a look at that, that is currently available right now. And from what people say, it looks pretty good. I've been playing Armor Core for like a long time. So just just having that on the palette is going to be kind of cool. Oh, they do have uh, abilities on here. Now I see them. Increase the potency. So you use the ability points to get new stuff. Pull away. You can pull the attention of the enemy target. You can put fire on your blades. Oh, man. You do an airstrike. Oh, this is a lot more in depth than I thought. You could do a stinger. What the hell? All right. Then I got it. What the hell? Oh, wait, if you get knocked back, you can recover, kick off an enemy. Is that like a... Please don't tell me, that's sort of like... What the fuck was it? Enemy step? From Double May Cry. Speaking of, I mean, one of the guys that worked on DMC worked on this, so I'm kind of not surprised by this in the combat. Try to get all these abilities real quick. The burning blade. Oh, you can master attacks so they get stronger, but it's more money. Fuck! You know, that's definitely more cash. Shit, man. I want that, though. You know, hold on, which move am I going to use to do this? What's that? And that's the one that sets my blade on fire. It doesn't stay too long. So I guess if you master it, then it'll be burning blade with strikes to it. Because we all love that shit. When my blade is on fire, when she says my hot dog is on fire. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be very, very painful now I think about it. So, yeah. All right. All right. Time to work on the street corner. Carl, you're drunk. What are you talking about hookers on street corners? What the hell? Yeah. Even I'm not that drunk tonight. Talking about the the lowly street walkers that will suck the soul right out of me. <laughs> <Some of them. laughs> uh, maybe I should mention that. Where the hell do I go? I, I do wish it was like a waypoint indicator. I am not sure what is my sense of direction. And purpose? Where is it? Okay, we had this place on fire. This is the door. Okay. Damn it all. I'll go to bed when everyone's dead. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this mechanic. Gotta struggle to push this door in, man. What the hell? They're stepping on his dick. You stabbed him in the dick. Oh no. Oh, here comes the boys in armor. There's only two of us. I don't know, maybe some people are in there getting their balls stabbed. I don't know. Very painful experience. 
kind of your balls like stabbed and stepped on and maybe some people are not why s and exists for a reason oh yeah i'm glad i turned that easy combo ring off i will still step on you like no tomorrow burning blade that's really powerful that's them done are you all right i'm fine it's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. They for sure are gonna remake Death Space 2 and 3, right? Death Space 1 remake was amazing. I had to sell well, I hope. I would imagine so. Oh! As I'm getting attacked by this giant knight. May I have this done? Okay. Oh my god! Well, it's completely fucking me up. This is epic. Oh! God, I love this game's combat so much. Fuck you. Oh god, where is he going? Look that visual cue there of him sort of coming down like that. He's about to be stunned. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, but as I was saying, I don't know. It's not the EA at this rate. I would assume. Okay, here's the thing. Pauls. He want to dance. Pauls. He probably does. Two to tango, bitch. Fuck. Let me get out of the way. That was just a, like 15 year old fighting this big ass knight that could kill me. Like nothing. But EA has. What is that team? Uh, EA Motive. They're working on the new Iron Man game. So I imagine that's going to come first before they think about Death Space Remake 2. And uh, that's what's going to happen, probably. I should have hit him with a Burning Blade. Oh, I got that in there last minute. You're going to regret that boy. I think he's mad, people. Oh, he's going to do that multiple times? Ow. Whoa! Fuck! This guy is doing it all, oh, man. I swear to Christ! Come here, you crispy bitch. Oh, wait. There. Ow. The pain, amigo. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what happens when I read stream chat. <laughs> I almost get it. Oh. Burning blade, come on. That's the only that's my only real flight critique of this game. It could be a little bit harder. And I hope they make a hard move, but that's about it. Cause I'm well versed at combat games, so this is kind of a little easy for me. But I like it. I like it so far. That's what matters. Nope. If you learn how to dodge, you have this game beat. <laughs> Except for that. Ow! This knight is so fucked. Oh my god. Okay. It should be dead. 
Uh, what's next for the Resident Evil franchise? Probably RE9. I I don't know what remake they're gonna pick next. The only thing I know is that Capcom did a survey asking people what do they want next for a remake. And of course, everyone went with the typical answer. I want Cole Veronica. I want Cole Veronica. Look, I'm gonna say it here. Cole Veronica, not even top five. Resident Evils, in my opinion, not 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 even top five. I I don't I don't think it's maybe top ten, but I don't think it's as good as people say it is. I I think it has a lot of, and now I'm not saying it is not deserving of a remake to fix these problems, but I feel like it has a lot of trial by nature gameplay that did not innovate as much as people think it did it's pretty much the same type of gameplay it's not like re3 where it's like they made a dodge button or, or stuff like that they made nemesis like a creature to stalk you from room to room it's just by the number if you play re2 you've played co veronica and and they barely did any gameplay innovations there and it kind of pissed me off more because the backtracking was a bit more lame. Like, when you get the Chris, you get that difficulty spike. And it just got on my nerves. The story holds that game up. 100% in my opinion. I, I, I think the story, Wesker coming back, that is the apex of Co Veronica. Without that, it would have been just right. another... Resident Evil 2 hybrid and and that's and and it's like that's it <laughs> so I said I want RE0 to be remade because that game has critical problems over Co Veronica like Co Veronica has the story that saves it but RE0 story is not that great oh no the chocobo RE0 story is not that great, and the gameplay is somehow worse. So, yeah, I I, I think they it would be more interesting to remake a game that is bad versus a game that's kind of already good. And there's his dad. I told you he's going to die, man. Somebody's going to get killed. They killed the owl, too. You, this is fucking cruelty to animals. Damn. I'm guessing he's gonna get mad and kill everyone. <laughs> this game is very traumatic for a Final Fantasy game. I, I, I'm, I'm loving it so far with that thematic. I just threw that bird on the ground like nothing. I can't wait for RE5 remake. That's gonna be interesting. Yep, he has the Order of the Phoenix inside of him. <laughs> Torgal's getting out of there. Oh! Icon, run! It looks like, hey, we saw Clive use this like 5,000 times. It's okay. Oh, it is a legit Phoenix. Have you ever played Siren? Yes, I have. Uh, I played the original and I've played Siren Blood Curse. They are interesting games, but they're very hard so if you're not precise with you know the the ghost eye and and, and watching your environments with those obito you will get destroyed no oh, ambrosia please don't be dead 
Oh my god, my bird! I called this. I called it. I knew they were going to do this. They always fuck my animals. What's something going on with him? My lord? I'm a little bit drunk right now. What the fuck is that? Is, is that Cinder from Killer Instinct? And now you see me. My ball sack is lit a flame. <laughs> oh god. E fruit? Hello. I am Kaiju. Fear me. You think Kuan is an overrated game though? I wouldn't say it's overrated, just it's expensive. <laughs> I would if anything I would say it's underrated. Sorry, little brother, but I got to beat you down. Whoa. Frame read dip for a bit, but it's a demo. It's a demo. Uh, can I fight you during this? Okay. Embodying the Phoenix. Oh, no. This makes sense. I was wondering why you were doing this segment randomly in the beginning. Now it makes context and sense. Oh, my aim is so off, dude. See this little indicator right there. Oh, get him off me! Oh shit. There we go. Get him off me. Good lord, Godzilla, eat your heart out. This, uh, I'm not gonna lie, there's so many effects going on. That, like, it's hard to shoot this dude. <laughs> a lot happening here. Hey, holy shit. I'm sure this place is fucking destroyed. Oh my god. Destruction! Good lord, I'm trying with this lot of effects here. There you go, eat my dick, Icon! <laughs> Have I played Gotham Knights yet? No, but I want to. Especially for that scene where Barbara straddles dick. <laughs> Oh my god. It's just a workout session. Nothing perverted there. Ow, 
he hit me. He took a lot of damage to you. You fucking whore. Keep jumping, bitch. I see you. He's bringing the house down over there. Oh, God. This part is insane visually. Jesus Christ. He's coming for me, huh? You missed. I hope this hits him. I don't think that did anything. That should have been like a cinematic attack. Oh! There we go. This is a spectacle. I'm so. Yeah. I'm surprised, like, the frame rate is even trying to be stable right now. Oh, he's up there. Oh, shit. So much debris. Uh, I will read that comment as soon as I'm in a safe place. Uh, let's see. You see newer survival horror game called Tormented Souls. Yes, I've played it for the channel. I haven't beaten it, but I've played it. And I've done a podcast on it as well. So all of that is now available on the channel. That's a damnation. Okay, please keep hitting him. There. Because you saw that, right? It said damnation in five, four, three, two. So I, I assume that's like an instant kill move if you don't pay attention. I'm alive again. And the demo is over. Econ vanquished. Is the game any good? Torment of Souls? Uh, from what I played, I enjoyed it. I liked it for what it was. It was basically what you expected. It was a um, interesting take on bringing back fixed camera with all these crazy creatures around in this mansion or whatever it was abandoned hospital I, f I forget what the hell it was but uh i liked it the puzzles are hard as balls but i enjoyed tormented souls for what it was yeah they got some silent hill s puzzles with the keys it's like, use this trigram to solve the key door. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I, I, I looked that up immediately. All those econs getting his way with like slapping. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> This is the longest demo I ever played. Take your off my oh, he's beating his ass. There we go. We're just doing a little mud hole stomp here. And now your econ is tearing him apart. Good job. This is brutal, dude. He smashed his head in. Pretty sure it's over.
This <laughs> is the brutality in this game is crazy. Oh! I told you 100% the child's dead. I was banking on it. Tear off his head. Oh, as a matter of fact, that makes it worse. Good lord. That's right. Put some fuck into it. Like, I'll fucking kill you. I would just say, if it, look, if I have no shame, if there is a horror game, if I can't figure out the puzzle in like 10 minutes, I'm looking that bitch up. We're still just killing guards out here, too. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. My condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. Oh, he is gone, all right. I only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance <laughs> seeks to create. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> Anything can happen on his live stream. All right, Clive, wake up. You failed. Your son is a fucking failure. <laughs> That's like gonna be the in mission screen. From the west of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. What the hell? Wait. I love opening up Discord. It's just someone put their PS5 in a bathtub. <laughs> like what kind of inhuman monster? Ah. Uh, I did not play Jedi Survivor, so I can't really say anything on it yet. Like this one. I played the first one, Fallen Order, and I thought it was pretty decent. <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. You're gonna live to see tomorrow. And that's the end of the demo. I like the dark theme. I feel like the game could be a bit harder. The combat is awesome, though. Thank you for playing. So we'll see if they uh, match up when the full game comes out. You've completed the demo, but there's still much more story to tell. If you'd like to learn about Clive and the Dominance, please consider purchasing the main game, which I definitely might will. And they save my playthrough data to play the demo again. You must select new game from the title screen. That was long too. That was like two hours of content. So I'm going to save it. Demo complete. It says I'm level 10. Awesome that it carries through to the main game as well. Uh, let's see. You can delete it if you want to. And create a save file. I know I won't. All I need is the one. Which I'll overwrite just to be safe. And that's it. Tells you to get digital deluxe or the base game. Econ challenge available. What the hell is... What the hell is this? Push you in control of Clive several hours into the story, equipped with feats and abilities of not one but three powerful econs. Eh? What is this? Hello? Officer, I am strong! Oh, it's that chick that fucked the giant ball guy in the beginning of the game. 
There's more to this? Pull the man back inside a care girl. He is here now. She wanted some of that bald nookie. <laughs> just wanted some of that bald nookie, man. I swear to God. Wait, please don't tell me I ever tweeted that. I think I did. You've come from Not boobies, John Cena. Shut up. I don't even think I can go to it now because you don't know what's going to cut on the timeline with my fucking speakers up. People probably watching porn and you just skim right on by. Oh, I am older now, so that's cool. Ah, my older Torgal. At least he's with me. Edwin. I can cycle between them in real time, offering a more varied assault. Oh shit, so that's Titanic block. And we know Phoenix shift. You can just do like front forward on that. Let's see, what is next? Deadly embrace. Okay. Hey guys, this is Bloodborne 2, your only chance to get her. No, I'm kidding. We should start with the dungeons. They may be holding a barret there. Sounds right. As long as we keep ourselves on this side of the bars. In here. Huh. I need a hand with this, come on. Need some help. I'm doing most of the lifting. Come on. There we go. Yeah, let the Torgal go first. I hear people upstairs. It's time for them to get killed. Oh my god, that dog is amazing. Get him, boy! Holy shit! I just knocked like three dudes down at the same time. That was amazing. Get him, boy. Oh, the combat is so fire. I was about to say, hold on, is someone dying there right behind me? I was like, what the fuck is that? Oh shit, hold on. I hope the stream is not stopping because. Yeah, let me know if it's like pausing or frames are dropping. I'll see if I can reset it. Cause that's weird. My preview says it's doing that, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's always PC gaming, I swear, man. It's always some shit. Oh, I have another. No, oh, can't lift this. I wonder what is that blue bar up there on the top left? Is that how many times I can summon a Torgal or I would assume so. 
Wait a minute. I'll just change my other stuff that I have on. I think I go... Wait, I go outside here? Yep. A long way down, but fuck it. Don't Clive. I almost thought I was like a giant dude in a cloak right in front of me. I was about ready to kick his ass. I was about ready. Oh, fuck. How did I end up up there? You jump off of that? Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not intending it, though. Let me break. Woo, burn, baby. And they say this is not Final Fantasy. Kiss my ass. You got limit breaks in the party. I need traditional sins, but there is a party helping me out. He's dead. Oh, mortal blow. This man getting kicked all over the place. I love it. All right, that dog's gonna be overpowered. I can already tell. What a good boy. I did like insane mortal blows on a holy fuck what was that? So if you get so I, I see if you change your econs, you get different moves if you press R2 and square. Oh I'm primed for combat. Hard for combat! What the fuck? He's a tall motherfucker. Ow! He hurts. You got to wear. Nice fire, buddy. This man knows Kung Fu. What is he doing? Not this time. Come on. Oh, God. Three dodges in a row. I'm learning. Oh my god, this fucking combat is heat. He's down. Get him, Torgal! Make him your bitch. Or your mommy. One or the other. <laughs> One or the other. It's kind of weak against him though. Well, limit break time. Let's see if this does any damage. Oh my god! This is amazing! Critical! Victim! Holy shit. You 
He's about to die. Oh, right into the stone wall. And he is dead. Who was your favorite Final Fantasy protagonist? I don't know. It's it's a mix up between Clow and Squall. So I don't know why. I just I just like both of those characters a lot. Which made me mark out when they were both in a Kingdom Hearts game fighting together. That was amazing. Let's see. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. All this bloody running. After them. Oh, run away, bitch. Run away. Well guarded. Attacking an opponent from the front while his guarding will deal no damage. Circle to the rear to penetrate the defenses. <laughs> okay. Oh, got punished and got fucked all at once. This Torgal is doing too much work. I love you. Get him, Wolfie. Just stomp on him a little bit. That's how we treat him in these streets. Oh, shit. There we go. Stay down. That's a Mastiff? I thought that was another Torval. It was definitely some dog creature attacking me. Yes. Just yes. I'll break your guard, sir. New enemies approach. Death to the traitors! Oh god, what is that? I'm not gonna stand in the middle of it. Limit break time. This is insanity on the effects, man. Oh, oh it's damn mage! You son of a bitch! And he's dead. The music is epic. Yes, it is. One thing they nail for sure is that. Well, thanks to the Torgal. Say the great Gregor? I don't know about the final what that is. What the hell happened here? I wish they remake Parasite Eve as well. They have to stop caring about Final Fantasy first to do that. I hate saying that I hate it, but and I love Final Fantasy too, but Square just doesn't seem to care about anything that's not Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts. 
it's the sad reality, but that's how I feel compared to Square Software. It's like, hey, we got Parasite Eve. We'll do experimental stuff. Hey, we got Final Fantasy. Hey, we'll do things we never done before, right? So, I like. I think they did. They have a hand in Tobol. It's like, oh, they were making fighting games back then. So I was like, come on, Square. I just miss Squaresoft. Square Enix sucks. Squaresoft was better in every way. Because they were a lot more ambitious and they took more risks. While Final Fantasy was still popular, yes. They made other games too. And they sold off all their Western IPs, which is very, very dumb, man. You know nothing of me, but hey, it's in the hand of Embracer Corporation now, so hey, they got it. The Embracer Group. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired. Talking about my dismay of Square after this guy's having like a sentimental moment. You had sex with someone in the hallway. I can't do this anymore. I don't think she's normal. Uh oh. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Oh man, I knew something was up. Oh, she was that flying thing in the beginning. Let me power up real quick. I don't want to get in between this. Holy shit. This is like a Dragon Ball fight. This man say bollocks, okay. Oh, there he goes. This the other game mode? Yup. I saw that on lock. I was like, you know what? I'm definitely playing that tonight. The Econ Challenge. I was like, it's not done yet. No, play some more of it. Oh, fuck, it's two of them. You see that block? Like two of these holes come out of nowhere. Holes in different area codes. Holes. Oh, my God, these holes. Oh, I completely wasted that. When she was transforming, I knew something was up. I was like, she is not normal. Can't believe I dodged that. What is my dog doing? What is the goddamn dog doing? <laughs> He's sitting in the corner doing nothing. Oh, shit. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect dodging right there. Perfect. Please let me get limit break so I can... What the fuck? Are they about to do the twin attack right now? Oh, yo! 
Oh, that was badass. I like that. I got to take down on both. So I would assume that means they're staggered. Yep. Definitely does. I don't know how people was hating on this game. I was like, you got to be drunk. <laughs> it's not a Final Fantasy game. I was like, what? This game is fun as fuck, and with the elements they have, I am enjoying it. Yeah, this fight is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Your stupid Torgo won't attack though. He's just sitting there menacingly. Oh, I better get out of the way. You play Wo Long. Fallen Dynasty? I have not actually. Definitely heard of it more than enough. I wanted to play, I don't know if the demos are still available, but if they are, maybe I'll give it a try. Oh! They're kicking my ass. They're kicking my fucking ass! You know what? Screw it. Please tell me this one's about to die soon. That'd be great. And there's so much going on in this game. They probably should have playing games so they call the game bad. <laughs> That's probably true. Okay, I totally got. Oh! I got comboed there. Oh, be doing something. I think this one's about to die. Oh, shit! Hold on, I'm gonna whittle her health down a little bit if possible. Actually, no, 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 no. Focus on her. Once she dies, I'm hoping that I get a free limit break so I can kick her ass. Yeah, this game's good. I don't, I don't know what people are talking about. It's just, it will sell gangbusters. This was a good demo to put out. Because it gives people something to take hold of. And at least for Final Fantasy games, they're real good at putting out demos. She doesn't look happy to Come on. Sword and Fairy. I've never heard of that game, actually. Sounds like an indie, which I probably not played. What? That just means recommendation, so I will check that out. My Torgo, you fucking bitch! Come here. She's getting that ass waxed. Stay in the corner. Stay in the corner. Yeah, my only complaint is the combat is kind of a little bit too easy for me. But that ain't saying that it ain't fun. It's really fun. Oh wow. Oh, stay right there. Uh he's shooting fireworks and all the works and everything. God damn And man, I will laugh so hard. There ain't no way people are so pissed at the fact that this game is not turn-based that they're going to review bomb it. But you know what? It's the internet and Twitter, so I really would not be surprised by that at all. Now that I think about it, which is sad. We've gotten to the point now where people can't be nuanced about a video game. They can't do it. They have to review bomb.
and and say stuff is a one out of ten simply because it doesn't suit their preference. That's very sad. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, if if it's a game I don't like, I'm not gonna put a review out. I'm just gonna say, well, I don't like it, and there you go. What are your top five favorite RPGs? All right. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Grandia 1, Grandia 2, uh, what else? No, this is where the list gets complicated. It was one I played before, I'm trying to remember the name, it was long ago though. Oh yeah, Dark Cloud, first Dark Cloud, I love that game. And the final one, final RPG, one that I like a lot. Do, do, do. Let me think. Remember, she has wings. You don't. What about you? I had to really think about that, but I, I named four. I named four at least. I don't know. Does Neo count? Because if it does, I will put it there. Some people have to be humble, man. Like, look. If. If a person is trash at a genre, it's so easy to admit it and try to teach yourself how to learn the game. Like that that's why when it comes to those like super punishing games and people are oh, this too hard. And like, you know. If it's not full of bullcrap artificial difficulty, you could just learn fake tips from others, but people don't want to do that. So it's just so weird. It's like, if we had more people out there admitting that a game is not their cup of tea, the gaming community will be a better place. So it's like, you know, it's, it's not my thing, man. I'm not that good at it. We don't have people saying that, though. We just have people rolling with a bunch of misinformation and bullshit. It's so, it's so jarring to see. It's like, damn, man. like some of the, some some of these high tier fucking um what is it some of these high tier games out there like KOF like that's a fighting game I know I'm not good at I love KOF but I get demolished in KOF and that's fine I enjoy playing the game but I can admit that I get my ass kicked at King of Fighters some people can't admit it it's so weird like like my my favorite fighting game that I'm I know that I'm decent at is Mortal Kombat. I I can play any Mortal Kombat and be decent or good. King of Fighters, nah. But at least I admit it. I ain't gonna say, oh, I'm so bad at this game. This game trash. You know, like what the fuck? <laughs> like no, I'm bad at KOF, but I can still learn. There's still room for improvement for anything. That's kind of how I see it. Do you like Dark Cloud 1 or 2? I never played Dark Cloud 2, so I can't I can't speak on how the second game handled its mechanics. But I played one and I really enjoyed it. Though I got killed by the Dark Genie at the end. He kicked my ass. But it's a game, it's definitely a game I would love to go back to anytime because that game is my childhood, man. I, I think Dark Cloud was one of my first JRPGs on PS2. I remember getting it and thinking, okay, this is weird. Like, dark haired Link on the cover. <laughs> that was the first thing I said. I was like, oh, this game is actually pretty hype. You can, you can geo make the town because all the towns like disappear at the beginning of the game. So you have to sort of do that. And it gives you micromanaging and dungeons. And it was in real time. Which, I don't think at the time, I forget. I, I think Final Fantasy did start converting over into a more action-y sort of system during that time. But that was when X came out. And I don't think, I don't think X came out in 2000, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Either way, though, Dark Cloud was my first RPG.
for PS2. I remember loving the fuck out of it. And then afterwards, I got this, um... There's another one from FromSoft. Evergrace? I remember playing that for a bit, and I thought that was okay. They got, like, two whole modes on this demo. You got the story, and then you got this combat simulation going on there. Yeah, it's definitely dog enemies. That thought was crazy. I was like, is that multiple Torgles? But no. These dogs getting fucked up. Oh! He does a differing animation when he does the mortal blow. He like smacks him. <laughs> Can't do anything in the corner. It's so sick. Just wrapped up playing this part of the demo. Hope it's been a cool experience for you. Yes, this I'm liking this game. I I am I am very much liking it because the combat feels fast and frenetic, and that's kind of what I wanted from this game all along. So my my wish was answered as soon as I saw they had someone from Double May Cry on board. I'm like yes. This is exactly what I needed. But like I said, my only complaint, and it's very, very minor, is that I I kind of wish, because I'm very into action games, so it's a little bit easy for me. So I kind of hope they go back and do a hard mode, because it's not. I don't think it's going to be one at launch. So I hope they go back and add one. And and once they do that, I'll be a happy boy. But everything else I'm loving. Even 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 the darker tone. I'm 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 loving that as well. Cause this blood is death is they curse. The M rating is definitely being utilized to its fullest potential here. Yeah, but this, this, you can just juggle people, dodge out the way, do a little stinger, hit like four dudes. <laughs> it's like, this shit is so energetic, man. So I'm, I'm definitely loving this gameplay so far. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, I got a follow. Thank you for the follow laser walrus. Welcome to the Garden of Madness, and it is good to have you here. I have not streamed for quite a while, but I was thinking to myself, like, maybe I'll stream more often, and this is a good opportunity. I've been playing this, like, for almost three hours now, three hours of demo content. Oh, it's over. They're still alive somehow. There we go, just stomp on his nose real quick. <laughs> just stomp on him. You know what? I'm gonna limit break. Maybe after all this, they'll get killed. This is an insane demo. This is like literally saying, hey, here's the beginning of the game. Play it. I wish more studios were that confident to do this. But as I said earlier, ah. Uh... I really like leaking things on PC, so I can see why these demos are really heavily coordinated and they try to really watch out for shit because people love leaking stuff, man. It's like, oh, there's some story files left over. Let me hack that real quick. Just did like a giant punch. That's amazing. They have to be getting healed or something. It's the only fucking way. I felt like I was fighting up for an eternity. Come on. What is my Torval doing? He's sitting in the corner like you. Watch me do no work whatsoever. I'm doing all the work. Good. 
Okay, I broke his guard. I'm trying to get behind him. Oh my god, someone's texting me! We're in the middle of high octane combat. There. That always happens though. Like, I'm just I'm just fighting these dudes. Oh, text message. I'm like, who is it this time? I had to block like so many telemarketers though, so I'm like, please stop calling me. It's like 2 a.m. <laughs> oh shit. We got level 14 guard who wants to fight. These guys are so tall. Good Jesus. I like fighting these guys though. Oh god, there's a lot of effects on screen. I'm surprised the camera actually holds up well considering it's so much off on screen when you're fighting. It's absolutely absurd. Like, you see that? No. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> no, dog. Alright. Take down time. Oh, wait. Damn. You can charge that up. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's very, it's very tight. That's what I like in my action games when the camera is not all over the place. Like, uh, Enter the Matrix. I played that recently. Ooh, the camera in that game is so bad. That game is so jank, but I kind of like it all the same. But yeah, camera control be fucking damned for that game. This guy thinks he's Bruce Lee all the time. He loves doing his kung fu. And he, he's pretty well done.